Hello and welcome to the Onbar Arcade. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm just checking levels. I think you can hear me. Let me turn the game audio on as well. There it is. I think you should be able to hear the game audio now. Tell me if you can because it's kind of hard to tell from here. But yeah, we are playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Starting a new file today, potentially doing a complete on this in the retro lounge, depending on how it goes. Um, but yeah, I remember parts of the beginning of this game, and I, I, I mean, I've, I've completed it, it's just been a while, so if I get stuck, I'm expecting some help, especially from LP, who's a fan of this game, so I'll have to uh, rely on you for some guidance if I get stuck at all. There we go, we've got mic audio, we've got game audio, I think we're just about ready to get started. So you can't start an Ocarina of Time save file without calling your character Link. I don't I don't call him anything else. I don't know about you guys, but he's always Link. There's just there's nothing else you can call him. Thank you, Preston. Um I also have an Atari mug which I've been drinking out of, but uh I don't have it on me at the moment, so bit of an Atari mark. Anyway, we're going to open the new file, and we're going to get going. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, dwells the sleepy boy, also the, Dre the Deku Tree. But let's meet the sleepy boy first. So just in case you weren't up with the Zelda lore, uh, the people who dwell in the forest are called Kokiri, and they are sort of elf sort of looking people, and they've all got fairies, except for one boy, who is called Link, and he doesn't have a fairy. He's also cold by the sounds of things. Meanwhile, a drawbridge. I don't know what you call that. It 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 bridges. Gets bridged. And someone's running off with Zelda. That's not good. <laughs> but it's just a nightmare, hopefully. Oh hey, it's a fairy. Navi the fairy. We'll be listening quite a lot to Navi. If you know what I mean. Malevolent forces are attacking our land. Yep. I mean, it's basically sort of a normal fantasy plot. Malevolent forces, you're the only one that can save the day. Fairies princesses, that sort of thing. No worries, Jason. I wouldn't want your PC to self-destruct, so... Keep it cool, eh? So Navi's gonna find our young friend without a fairy. I forgot how long the opening of this was actually, I should have started from the uh, right at the beginning where he's sleeping. Anyway, we get this little bit of cutscene, which kind of shows how good the N64 was at like 3D things. Like it wasn't that powerful of a console, but this this one cutscene is just impressive for that era. I mean if you imagine this is 1998, this is some futuristic tech on display. And this game recently had, I think it's 20th anniversary in uh, 2018, in November, so it's only been a couple of months since the 20th anniversary of this game. And if we can manage not to crash into the fence, we're going to find Link.
Yeah, there are some wonderful games on the N64. I mean, we were playing Ridge Racer 64 just the other week, and I mean, there's tons. There's, there are loads of good N64 games, and I, for one, will be playing them in the Retro Lounge. <laughs> Apologies if the frame rate isn't great. Uh, I keep getting dropped frame warnings, but hopefully it's uh, manageable. So Navi's trying to wake us up, as best a fairy can do. Yeah, the 3DS version is really good. I completed uh, this and Majora's Mask again on the 3DS version. And to be honest, if I could stream the 3DS version, I probably would have. But seeing as we've got the original cart and the original console, it's worth giving a proper retro lounge look at Ocarina of Time. So Navi's going to be our partner from now on. Our fairy partner. And uh, we're going to go and see the Deku Tree. Here we go, we're in control now. So we're going to go out the door. Now a lot of people speedrun this game. Hi Black and Mild, welcome to the stream. Um, a lot of people speedrun this game. I'm not one of these people, uh, hence the title, this is not a speedrun, just in case anyone on Twitch thinks, oh he's speedrunning Ocarina of Time. It is not speedrunning Ocarina of Time. I, I don't know the game well enough to do that, and also I just do not have the skills required. Yeah, to be honest, like, having the 3D on wasn't really such a big part of replaying through Legend of Zelda. I was playing it with the 3D off, but just sort of enjoying the up upgraded graphics. So, the Deku Tree, I think, is supposedly through here. Was that the exit to the woods? I can't remember. <laughs> this is why this isn't a speedrun. What does Navi have to say? The Great Deku Tree has something. Okay. Oh, I see. There's the tree. There's a map in the corner, and I can see the tree on it. I, I don't know why we're struggling so much with the intro, but... It has been several years since I even played the 3DS version, let alone the N64 version, so... The Deku Tree's over there. And he's going to tell us what he wants, and why he sent a fairy to us. What's up, my dude? He's surprised we got a fairy. I don't think he believes us. So we need a sword and a shield to go and see the Deku Tree. Well, let's go and get a sword and a shield. Now, I happen to know where they are. I, I was thinking about this before I went on stream. I was like, right, remember the beginning of the game, because if nothing else, we need to get started without much issue. So. I know for a fact up here we can go and get a, sh a sword, I think, and then the shield is somewhere else, so we buy a sword and get a shield. It'll all be. It'll all come together, hopefully. So we could go through this maze, or we could just climb over it. And then we're gonna go through this little hole. Hopefully. There we go. Link has decided to crouch. So through here is a little maze. I think you can hear a boulder that's uh, tumbling around, so we'll try and avoid that. Now what are the camera controls in this game, because... Oh, there we go. There's the boulder. Uh, okay, so it's gone that way. We're going to try and make our th way through without being crushed by a boulder. Which is often the best way to uh, make your way through a place. Anyway, here's a treasure chest. What's inside? Probably a sword. Probably the Cockery sword. 
How did I know? Okay, so that's probably the easiest part of the game is acquiring the cookery sword. So it's a hidden treasure, but we can borrow it for a while. That's useful because we don't have a sword at the moment, so we're going to take that. And we're going to go and buy a shield as well because those are the two things we need. We've successfully avoided being run over by any boulders, which is a mercy for the start of the game. Link's getting down on his hands and knees again. He crawls very slowly. Yeah, to be fair, the start of Zelda games are always a bit sort of like, okay, so now this has happened. And it's like, oh, okay, let's, uh, let's equip this sword while we think about it. Yes, there we go, hold the sword. So now the sword is on B, so we can slash things. Like this, and this, and this, and this. Oh. Well, that didn't have any rupees inside, but yeah, we can... We can even slash uh, these billboards, which tell us stuff. See, that tells us how to attack. I don't want to read that. Now let's go to the shop and see how much a shield is. Hopefully not too much, because we've only got 20 rupees. And this isn't the shop, but it is full of chests. Nice! Five rupees. Another five rupees. Who's leaving all these chests around with like small amounts of money in them? What? One rupee. Thanks chest. Thanks for that. Oh yeah. We, we got a life heart even though we didn't take any damage so kind of useless but okay. So that wasn't the shop, but one of the buildings is. I think this might be the shop. Ah, she's teaching us about Z targeting. There we go. When we have enemies, we can target with the Z button on the back of the N64. See, people always say, oh, the N64 controller was made for people with three hands, but the natural way to play this game is like over one side and just leave the other leave the other bit to its own devices whereas Ridge Racer 64 requires the d-pad so it's sort of it's good that you get a choice I guess I quite like the N64 controller uh, Link doesn't actually have kids so uh, it's impossible for his kid to die but you know we might as well save Hyrule just in case ah Deku Shield 40 rupees and we've got 30 rupees. 36, so we need 4 rupees. Can we get some Indian donations for 4 rupees? Probably. Might be easier just to jump across here though. There we go. You get 5 rupees every time you successfully jump across there from one side to the other, so it's worth doing. Give me the shield. He's got quite a triangular face, this man. Yep, thank you very much. We've got the shield. Now we need to equip it, otherwise Mido won't let us through still. But we've at least got some sort of defensive manoeuvres now. I don't want to buy anything else, I just want to equip my shield and get out of here. There we go, he's ready to fight now. Now, where's the tree? Over here. Ah, we've got everything, Mardo. Let me through. What's that? You've equipped a sword and a shield? Yep, that's the cockery sword. It's our sacred sword. Yeah, why was rupees chosen for this game? I guess it's a bit more fantasy for us western folk, like... 
if it was pounds or dollars, it's a little bit too realistic. Whereas like rupees seems like a far off land, even though I guess Indians must have been like, mate, that's our currency. Anyway, we can finally get through to the get to the great Deku tree. Why is his name a tongue twister? Every time I've said it, it's like, oh no, plants. Time to do a bit of gardening. Wonderful. Did they leave any Deku nuts or anything? Oh, there we go. We got a Deku stick. That will be useful later. I don't think they left any Deku... No, just Deku sticks. But Deku sticks can be useful. We're going to equip those to one of the uh, control buttons. Now, it's, it's not often said how great the uh, control scheme of this game is. But I think for the N64 controller, it's really quite interesting that they managed to have the equipable buttons, attacks on A and B. Like, there's not a lot of buttons on the N64 controller. Ah, I see. That's very interesting, actually. Yeah, so they're really rubies or gems, but obviously rupees. I didn't know that, actually. That's, that's very interesting. Thank you for that, LP. Um... I did know uh, the original, I think, American release, if you had one of the original carts, it has different music in the Fire Temple, which is like, uh, it's got a form of like Islamic chanting in or something, which might have caused offence, so they changed it. Anyway, we're being talked to by a tree with a, a wonderful moustache. If I was in tree form, I would be this tree. Although he doesn't have a beard, does he? So the great Deku tree has been cursed, and we've got to enter him. You heard right, we've got to enter him, and uh, sort it out. So let's go in the tree, it's our inner refuge. Ah yes, when Navi speaks, use the up on the control pad to listen to it if you want. Basically, whenever whenever Navi says listen, you just ignore her for the most part. There's not a lot of not a lot of use to listening. Anyway, we are inside the Great Deku Tree. It's quite a quiet place by the sounds of it. I love the music in this game. That is one thing that I will always say upon starting up a save file here. Bit more gardening to do. Excellent, we've got another Deku stick out of that. We're going to climb this ladder. Navi is the uh, fairy, not the radio. Yeah, that is a thing, Black and Mild. Once, once we get inside it, it's like, don't worry, we're going to save you. And then we start lighting fires everywhere inside of him. He's alright for now, though. It's weird how many bridges and sort of man-made structures there are inside this tree. Look at this wall. The vine's growing. It, yes, we can climb it. Thank you, Navi. I can... I have eyes. There's also a treasure chest. What is in the chest? It's a map. Nice, so if we get lost, we can look at the uh, map, and it marks places we've already visited, which is kind of a revolutionary thing for this sort of exploration game, like, obviously I guess it wasn't the first game to do that, but we've also got some spiders up here, um, we can't really avoid them. I haven't got anything to target them with, so, right, well that didn't work. I'll leave them alone for now. Listen. Yes, you can open a door by standing in front of it. Yeah, thank you. This is a video game, yes. Thank you. Yeah, Navi's first, like, tutorial hints are kind of annoying, but once we learn the basics, it's fine. I know what to do, I'm just sort of remembering the controls here. 
There we go. There we go, we talked to him. Yes, give me a clue. Oh yeah, I forgot that. You can r roll to avoid taking full damage. As long as it isn't from a massive height. Yeah, the tree has a map of itself in its own body. Which is... I mean, that's handy, but... How it got there and why... I have no clue. Anyway, we're fully healed again. We've only got three hearts at the minute, so we do have to be a little bit careful. What's in here? Nice. Some rupees for me? No. No rupees for now. We're going to climb up uh, to this ledge. Here's a treasure chest. What's in the chest? Hooray, we've got a slingshot. I always think Link would be the worst at opening presents. He'd be like, di -di 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 just get on with it, Link. You got another fifty presents to open. It's Christmas. Luckily, it is not Christmas, so it's all good. There you go. Roll to avoid taking damage. Oh, um, were we supposed to save that platform for the way out? Is that, is that what was supposed to happen? Because I didn't do that, so... How do we look around again? We've got the catapult, but we haven't got anything to shoot at. Oh, there we go. We've got a ladder to shoot at. I see. For a minute, I thought I was stuck, and I was like, Nintendo wouldn't design a game you can get that easily stuck in. Maybe they would. Old Nintendo wouldn't. Yeah, you will leave this game with more questions than answers. Also, why a spider bursts into flames? I don't know. It just does. Anyway, now we've got the catapult, we can do that to spiders. So, animal cruelty, I guess. That's fine. Don't tell pe uh, Petter. Are they Petter or Pater or whatever they're called? Oh. There's one more spider, but I can't target him. We're just going to have to avoid him. Or if we bring him down here, maybe we can shoot him from the floor. Go, 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 while he's not looking. Come on, Link. That's going to be full damage. Means I don't think we can target him from down here. No, we literally can't. Ah, but we can free target him. Nice, okay. At least it was teaching us game mechanics. I appreciate that sort of thing. Link's got some climbing to do. So here we are on the upper level of the tree. I hear some noises, but we're just going to ignore them. Ah! What sort of dungeon is this?
Well, there's a treasure chest. We got that at least. And we got a compass. We can see the location of many hidden things in the dungeon. I've always wanted to see the location of many hidden things. Okay, we got him eventually. And we got some Deku Nuts. So we can also light fires. And because we've unlocked that door, we can now run across and continue our quest. Ooh. Oh, I see, I thought the door was over here, but it's just the door to get back out. That's just some life, that's fine. So we've also got some spiders. Uh, we're gonna deal with them. Let me target you. That's a gold Sculptula, so we get a token for that. There's there's a, like the House of Sculptulas later on, which is uh, reward you for how many you've killed. No, I wanted to jump down there. That's the only problem I find with Legend of Zelda controls, is because it jumps automatically when you get to an edge. If you just want to go over the edge, it is a pain to just drop down. Other than that though, we're good. So we've got a bit of health, we got, we've learned how to use Deku sticks, there's some spiders about, what else is going on? <laughs> Gotta wait for them to expose their weak spot. Now, what's down here? Hmm, what if we jump from the top? Ah, new area. It's almost like I've played this before. So there's a thing to light. That also does something. Oh, it, do it lights it, I see. So we've got to do something while we have time. Unfortunately, I don't know what we've got to do, so we might have to uh, have an attempt or two at it. There's a treasure chest there, so that'll that'll be our first stop. Can we not just jump across onto there? Okay, I see how it is. Oh, I think I yeah, I think I remember what you do. You gotta you gotta light the light the webs. The question is, why can't we jump back up on there? I need to get back up there. Oh, I see. It's just too deep at that point. I got gotcha. you. How that remained on fire for so long, I don't know. Let's grab the treasure, treasure chest while I remember. That's just health. I've got enough health. I'm fine for health, thank you very much. Can we jump across there? Not exactly. We're going to get a Deku stick. We're not going to do that because that puts it out.
How do we get across with the Deku stick? This is like the first thing that's confused me. We can't get across there with a lit Deku stick. Well, we need to burn that. What else can we, can we do at the moment? We can't go in there. Let's kill this dude just for fun. Nice, I can't actually collect the token, but thanks. If only I had the hook shot. So we can't jump across here, but we also can't get the fire across there. Um, oh no, we can, I see. I'm just being silly. There's a bit of shallow water here that we can literally just run across. Why did that take me so long to solve? I just need like a guide with me constantly. Thing is, in... Um... Oh, there we go. Give me a hint, good sir. Ah yes, you gotta get these little Deku things in the right order. Two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. That's that's a Zelda thing. I don't think you're a traitor for uh, helping me out, no. Ah, but we need to shoot the eye. That'll be a recurring theme once we get the hook shot on that. You'd be doing that all the time. Listen. Yet we can dive in water. I get it. Thanks, Navi. It's fine. Right, so we've got a platform. And we've got that. That looks pretty deadly. I'm going to avoid that, I think. And then we can get back up on the platform. Or can we? Maybe we can't. Oh, we don't need to. I thought we could get up from there, but apparently not. So we're going to need a f need to find a safe way over there. I'm assuming we could just jump, but I don't want to risk it. That's got to be the thing to do, though, surely. Although Navi did recommend diving, so let's 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 see what we can find. Is there anything underwater? No, because I can only see the textures. Ah, there's a switch. If we can press the switch. What on Link? I don't know if they're cabbages, I think they're like Deku creatures. Come on platform, we don't have much time. Zelda always makes it kind of an anxious wait whenever you've got a time limit because you can just hear the time running out like Chick Yep, yeah, thank you. I understand. It's a shame you can't turn Navi off because, like, I know what to do. Alright, 
let's kill this dude. Right, great. We got seeds! So they're like slingshot bullets. So if we drag this to here, then we can stand on top of it. And if we stand on top of it, we can go through this door. So we've got a few we got a few plants. I'm actually playing pretty terribly considering I played this before. We'll manage though. So we've got to light these. And now we've lit them the way is clear. Big old spider in the entrance. I'm trying to remember how you do a jump slash. It's not like that. We're gonna die at this rate. Hello, James. Sorry you have to see me being so terrible at Zelda. I like that the music changes whenever an enemy's near, but it's sort of like... It has me on edge looking for the enemy. I'm like, yo, where's this enemy at? There we go, we got some hearts. Thank you very much. Oh, what's down here? Where's fire? I need fire. Let's go exploring. something through here. Sorry, you can always watch the Rams game on repeat. Or on demand, in fact, is what I meant. So we're going to put this block in place so we don't have to do the other puzzle again. Or you could just not watch the Rams game. That That is some good advice. <laughs> Although I think James might want to watch the Rams game. So we're going to stay away from these plants because they're just bad news. There we go, that's how to do them. We've got Deku sticks. Unfortunately the fire up there is kind of too high up to grab with that Deku stick, so we're going to have to go back over here. Going to have to grab some fire. Jump all the way over to the box we just placed. And then... Not set that on fire. That, That's it. I've got to do that instead of pull my sword out. It has been a little while since I played Ocarina of Time, if I'm honest. I don't know if you can tell by, you know, the amount of damage we're taking to minor enemies or just the general pissing about, but we've started a fire inside the Great Deku Tree. We did start the fire. It was not always burning. So it's got some health because obviously you might take full damage on your way down here. What else is here? Ah, the death, the brothers. So we need to defeat them in a certain order. Which is two. Oh, then three. And then one. And then if we talk to them. 
I said talk to them, not attack them. How did you know our secret code? Well, I so, someone told me. <laughs> it's so annoying that I'm going to reveal another secret. So we've got to stun Queen Goma in order to defeat her. That's good advice, and we're going to need it pretty soon. I wonder where this could lead. I don't think we're ready for this, but I'm going to I'm going to save just in case we're not ready for this. And then it's time. Wow, an empty room. Hmm, what's that? It's gone dark. Something's moving about. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. It's the parasitic armored arachnid Goma. And we're in trouble. She's going up there. Oh, she's dropping some stuff. We might have to battle these dudes. Yeah, they're little they're little mini versions of her. I remembered how to jump slash, but... Hopefully one of them gives us some health. Right, now where's Goma at? There she is! I was pretty sure we had to stun her when her eye was blue, but now I'm wondering whether that is the case or not. I don't think we can attack her right now. I think it's only when she goes up here. We've got to keep an eye on her, if you'll pardon the pun. Let's see what Navi's got to say. Its eye is vulnerable. Oh, when it's red. Okay, it's not when it's blue, it's when it's red. That's fair enough. We're gonna grab some health. If we can stop targeting the mini gummers for a moment. Now, luckily, there's health all over the edges of Zelda dungeons. Usually, there's some. Oh! 
No, Nick, the N64 did not have any Sonic games on account of it being a Nintendo console that was competing with... Competing with the uh, Saturn at the time, so... It wouldn't have had. Oh, we don't have to get all the way there again, do we? I guess it's saved our progress, so it shouldn't be too far. That's it, down in here. We'll do a controlled descent this time. The music's so serene in here as well, like, we're inside a tree, but it's just the most peaceful place. I think this would be a good little refuge, you know. Right, Goma, we're back, and we've got the knowledge that your eye's actually vulnerable when it's red. I was waiting for it to turn blue, which it just never did. So the eyes aren't red yet. Come on, turn red. She's just like stalking us. Okay, we're gonna grab some health. Because we don't want to die like last time. The thing is about Zelda games, it's often like the first couple of boss dungeons that are the hardest because although this one isn't particularly hard, like you've only got three hearts worth of health. Give me health. There we go. See, they're only vulnerable when they're about to attack you, which is... That's it, we got it. They're supposed to be like practice for Goma, but I just didn't clock that that was what you had to do. Is Goma coming back down? Yeah, there we go, we heard her. I want to do more damage, but I also don't want to die, so... Okay. Where are you? Has she gone back on the ceiling? She loves that ceiling. AGDQ started on Sunday, because I watched some of it on Sunday before I had to go back to work on the Monday. I, I think you can kill the eggs before they hatch, actually, thinking about it. Yes, you can. Although it seems to deal some damage, so maybe we shouldn't do that. you will got some health? Yes. Any more health for me? Yes. Okay, we're good. We've got one more little goma. And then hopefully she'll come back down from the ceiling. Oh, yes. Give me health. Give me health. Right, attack me. Come on. I keep getting hit whilst trying to attack. Because I know the jump slash does extra damage, but... I must be doing it wrong, like, I have... What's going on? Why is Link, like, full body slamming into her? There is only so much health in this dungeon. Is she gonna lay some more eggs or what? Don't touch them, Link! I 
I don't know what's up with his range, but whenever he goes to attack something, he seems to just jump into it and take damage instead of actually attacking it. That's better. Come on, Link. You can do this. That's going to be Twilight Princess on the GameCube, I assume. Either that or the Master Quest version of this. I've seen people defeat Goma in like a couple of strokes, so I don't know quite why we haven't been able to hit her, but such is not playing Zelda games for a while. Yeah, the only expensive Zelda games on the GameCube are Twilight Princess and the Master Quest version of... Well, I think there's a version of Ocarina of Time which also includes Zelda 1 and 2 as well as Ocarina of Time. And the demo for Majora's Mask, as far as I'm aware. There's no health in any of these plants. We just have to get it off the tiny gomas. Or we could just jump into them, because apparently that's a far better idea. Come on, give me health. I need health. No health for now. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Tiny Gomez. You, you, you've been helpful. Well... We touched Gomer again. I did say if this went well it could be a complete series, but like... I'm gonna need to relearn the controls if this is gonna be a complete series. So at least it's not too far to go to get back to uh... To get back to Gomer. That was always one gripe I had with Zelda games. If you lost in a dungeon, it would start you at the start of the dungeon, even if you were, like, fighting the boss, and it's like, can I not just retry from the boss? All I'm going to do is run straight to the boss room, so. There we go. We landed in water that time, so that was okay. And, yeah, we're just going to run through to the boss room, so I don't know why it doesn't start us there, but, you know, you do use Zelda games. I'm sure there are punnier titles than Nailed. We can think... I'm sure Preston could think of some punnier titles than... Eh, punnier game titles than Nailed. Right, so we wait. And then we somehow take a load of damage. I don't... What are we doing wrong? Go on, attack me. Not quite like that. That's it. And again. Okay, I think we're doing better. I feel like we're doing better. That being said, we need some health, but... We've got to work on our distance game. One thing that can be said of Zelda games is they never really baby you, like... They expect you to be competent from the very first dungeon. Which is good, unless you're, comp you're incompetent, in which case it's not so good. Alright, these dudes have woken up. Okay, I feel like we're getting better already. We got this. Here comes Goma. 
But we're ready. Are we not damaging her? Like... I said strike while the eye is red. Like, the eye is red. Oh yeah, I've... So I've just remembered how you defeat Goma. I was thinking a sword in the eye would do it, but of course it's the catapult. Because you always use the item you get in the dungeon that you get it, yeah. Okay. There we go, she's making babies again. If we can defeat them before they hatch, that would be amazing. Stop touching them, Link. For goodness sake, man. So we're going to wait for Goma to fall back down. There she goes. Yo, what's up? Your eye goes red. Shoot her in the eye. Come on, sword, 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 sword. Okay. She's going to scurry away again. Climb the walls, lay more babies. You know the drill. It's weird getting back into Zelda games. They really make you think. They're sort of like, no, you have to do it exactly this way or it's wrong. Whereas a lot of other games, like, I guess Hitman and stuff, it's like, yeah, do it however you fancy. Zelda's just like, do not do it however you fancy. You will be punished for doing it however you fancy. Stop touching them, Link. No hearts, either. Still, I think we only have to hit Goma one more time, so we should be good. Here we go. I can keep this up all day, Goma. Question is, can you? Probably, because she's been keeping it up pretty good so far. Yeah, if only we could drop a piano on Goma, that would actually be making things quite a lot easier for me. Link! Don't die on me, Link. Don't die on me, Link. Come on, Link. He's died on me. Okay, I, th I know what we're doing now. It's, uh, it's a bit like Ridge Racer 64 in that you can't do it right unless you fail several thousand times before you do it right. But I'm glad we're sticking with it. Um, this is obviously a really good game. It's just me that, that is not so good. I was worried then we were about to land on something solid, but... We're all good. To be fair, this is probably the least rage-inducing temple in the the boss doors right here. Some of them, the boss doors, about 300 miles away, and it's like, can we not just start by the boss, please? Anyway, we've got we've got Goma this time. Goma is Goma's dead. Come on, you parasitic arachnid. Oh 
Okay, we got quite a lot of good hits in there. I happen to know that the jump slash, which is when you do that, does double damage as opposed to just the slash. So we should have got quite a lot of hits in there. Uh, the problem is, obviously, with the Cockery Sword, it's, I think, the least powerful sword in the game. So it's quite difficult to actually do good hits with it. Whereas when you end up with stuff like the Biggeron Sword, now that, that's a real sword. I know it's a legendary sword, but it's it's the worst legendary sword imaginable, the Cockery Sword. You coming down, Gummer? You coming down to Chinatown, that's where you're going down to. Jump flash, jump flash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can't whack it, whacking it with a stick will do absolutely nothing. Like a Ness, or will it? I don't know. Is a Deku stick more powerful than the Cockery Sword? I think it actually might be. I don't know whether that was like legit advice or not, but as I recall, I think a strat is actually to whack it with a uh, Deku stick because it's more powerful than the Cockery Sword. Anyway, we've got to kill the babies. Which is not something I would usually say. Get the sword out. Jump slash. Link. Link. Over here, mate. Yes. And the winner by TKO. Link. I guess. Anyway, that's that's what was wrong with the Great Deku Tree. It was the massive spider inside of him. So now, assumedly, he's fine. We've saved the Great Deku Tree. Well done, guys. This, this was you as well. It wasn't just me. So we're going to pick up a heart piece. Or not even a heart piece, a heart container. Now we've got four hearts, so we've, we've got slightly more health. And then there's also this, the glowing warp of doom. But not doom. And we're going to ascend. And then descend. What's up tree, my dude? I've saved you. Well done, Link, said Tree. I love the expression once the door comes down, he's like, Ah! <laughs> Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've killed a giant spider inside of you. You've got a weird fetish, Tree. We did set fire to some things down deep in your root, so be be careful. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. I realise you can't see some of the words, but the bottom corner is the best place for me to be, so. There's some fire and uh, Ganondorf riding off. Good old Ganondorf. He's pretty good in Smash Bros, so uh, we can, we'll give him a break for kidnapping Zelda and, you know, cursing the tree and all the bad things he's done. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile powers. Yeah, well, you know, if you've got vile powers, I'd be ceaselessly using my vile powers too if I had any. We've got to get the Divine Triforce and uh, do some stuff with it. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, there was nothing. Now, this is the three golden goddesses with the Triforce. This is the, uh... It's not a nuclear attack so much as the lore of Zelda. There was Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. And Farore, the goddess of courage. And each one of them was a bit of the Triforce. One of them was also on fire. <laughs> May confirm for supervillain. Yes, yes, I have been confirmed for that. Soon I will attack. Some rocks also fell down with the goddesses because, of course, they did. Can we just note that if someone was speedrunning Zelda, they could have completed it three to four times in the time it's taken us to beat one temple? Partly because they skip most of the game with the wrong warp, but. 
Just saying, 17 minutes, I believe, is the world record for the any percent speed run. I'm not really a big fan of, like, high fantasy games, but I guess... Since this is such a good game, and you know, I, I give it a free pass to be as high fantasy as it wants. Yep, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. So whenever you think, ah, oh, I've had a good day, thank the triangles. Because it's them. It's not you, it's the triangles. The triangles have done this. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armour to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. I'll, I'll give it a go. You must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. But you're fine now, aren't you? You alright? We... Yeah, we broke the curse. Tree's gonna die, man. Is... He's told us the story and now he's gonna die. Go to Hyrule Castle. Gonna meet Princess of Destiny. And get the pick of Destiny with Tenacious D. And we're going to take a stone with us because we're not carrying enough stuff yet. That's a pretty sweet stone. I might pawn that off at cash converters for like £2.50. Yeah, that is mad. Any percent Zelda is 17 minutes, 4 seconds. Bear in mind they do skip to basically the end of the game from very near the beginning of the game without many of the items and just hack the game sort of to completion, but you got to appreciate 17 minute completion of Zelda. Right, a tree's future depends on us. We're sort of like Greenpeace right here. Navi's our fairy. Tree's going to wither away. Get ready for some tree death. Hundred percent is three hours fifty-three, so we're on course for that. Clearly, we're on course to speed run this. <laughs> Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. No, I don't want to. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. Oh, that—that that was Navi speaking. Never mind. I thought the Deku Tree was like, "Goodbye, Link. See you later." Alright, back to the Cockery Fort. Can you get out of my way? Hey Link, what did the tree- Yeah, I've killed- I've killed the Great Deku Tree. And I'll kill you too if you don't get out of my way. See, that was a good threat. He's, he's got out of my way now. So it's time to get out of here and go to Hyrule Castle. I think when speedrunners run through the game, they like jump backwards because it's a faster way of moving, but... What did you use for your house? Black and mild? Oh, I see. I Maybe I see? I don't know. Sometimes chat is very confusing to read. Yeah, I'm leaving. It's because I'm not really a cockery. Yep, we'll be friends forever. I'll definitely come and visit you. Oh, I see, yes. Yeah, you used the Deku tree for firewood. You're giving me an ocarina that isn't even the right colour? Isn't it supposed to be blue? I haven't we got the one of time yet. This is just a normal ocarina, I suppose. 
Ah, it's the fairy ocarina. Okay, we haven't got the ocarina of time just yet. So we can play some songs on the fairy ocarina. I think Sari is about to teach us Saria's song. If I'm not mistaken. You can actually get, like, rec replica ocarinas as well. Uh, in real life, you can get ones that play themselves or actual ocarinas that you can play that have all the notes to play various Ocarina of Time songs. When I play the Ocarina, I'll think of visiting you. Yeah, maybe. See you later. Link's just gonna... That's it. Back away, mate. Link literally just runs off. She's like, Will you visit us? He's like... Ugh. I mean, that's that's not a good sign, is it? She's just like, I, I don't think he's coming back, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it's Hyrule Field. Now, it's weird. In video games, there didn't used to be such massive open expanses. I know nowadays we're treated to, like, really big open world games, but back in the day, this was, like, quite a huge field. You can see the big sort of map in the uh, corner there. Oh, it's an owl. Hey, what are you doing? He's got quite a banging theme as well. He's just telling us not to get discouraged because obviously we we're about to get discouraged since we just started. Come on, owl, sharp at a better time. Annoyingly, he says, did you get all that? And while you're flicking through, it's like, the first option is no. So you always click no and have to read it about six times. And he's like, okay, I'll repeat myself. And it's like, no, go away. Fly off, owl. Right, cool. We've just been encouraged by a huge owl. That's uh, not your everyday thing. Now, how do you... How do you fast move? I think I put the sword away. Whoa. There's a there's some sort of blade chasing after us, so I'm just gonna Whoa! Now that is trippy. That is that is like a pineapple with blade wings underneath it. I'm not about that. That is just one thing that we are not about. I didn't mean to get that out. You can see it's already turning to like night time because this is such a massive field that we have to cross. I'm trying to remember where Hyrule Castle is exactly as well. Oh yeah, skeletons come out at night because of course they do. Uh, the owl actually has a name but I can't remember it. It's something weird. Like it's probably one of the weirdest names in Zelda. Like, I'm not about that skeleton life guys. You need to just chill. Gonna hop over this fence. Well, that's not Hyrule Castle. I think it might be down here, I don't know. I'm just gonna run past all these skeletons because, you know. That's where the pineapple choppers sleep in the night time. Pineapple choppers in the daytime, skeletons at night. Hyrule just isn't a safe place, you know. There's people kidnapping princesses, there's trees with some sort of internal spider rot. Now see, that's not Hyrule Castle either. Oh hey! He's gonna tell us about the lake.
He says, do you want to hear what I said again? So I click yes for like, yes, I've heard it. And it's like, haha. Now I'm going to repeat myself. Stop. Re it's like the owl that cannot stop repeating himself. Hey. <laughs> All right, the pineapple choppers are back. I don't know why they put them in the game, like, it's just like, don't spend too long on Hyrule Field, because it's dangerous. Oh, I can hear him. Go away! Why is he chasing after me? What did I ever do to pineapples except for eat them on pizza? Is that the problem? He, he just doesn't appreciate being sliced and put on pizza. Because I, I can agree, I wouldn't like to be sliced and put on pizza, but... It just feels a bit... Whoa, 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 get your blades away from me, mate. Hyrule, Hyrule is nuts. It's like, they don't think it be like it is, but it do. So that's Mount Doom over there with the little uh, smoke coming out the top of it. Over here's the Cockrew Forest, so I'm assuming somewhere is the, uh, the castle. I've been known to have pineapple on my pizza. I'll put anything on my pizza. Well, yeah, Link's trying to survive, but... It's tough when there's uh, crazy flying pineapples about and owls that keep repeating themselves. It's uh, it's just too much, really. I told you I was a super villain. You didn't believe me. Is this Hyrule Castle? That looks big enough to be a castle. I think we're heading in the right direction now. I think I also see the drawbridge. We better get to it before night time falls again, because I'm pretty sure the drawbridge closes at night, so... That's not a drawbridge, so that's fine. There's the drawbridge. You can't die yet, because we're streaming. You can, you can die after the stream. I always do that. Once I get off stream, I just, like, curl up in a ball and cry for a bit. That's a joke, I just relax. <laughs> To Hyrule Castle. There it is in all its 2D glory. For some reason, like, Legend of Zelda has these, like, risen evil type bits where, like, the camera is just stationary and then you move, which is weird. I don't know why that's the case. But we're going to ignore that and just go to Hyrule Castle instead. I do like the sense of scale in this game because it's not actually particularly big. Like, if you look at the actual si- Go away, owl! If you look at the actual size of the map, it's not that large, but it's the fact that you have to walk through lots of different areas to get to bits and other stuff. No, I do not want to hear what you said again. That's the last thing I want. It's a malevolent land full of malevolent creatures. Yeah, well done, Jason. I don't think you'll have to clip quite so much stuff tonight. Although, if you'd been there when I was fighting Goma, then you might have, uh, you might have had a bit more clipping duty. I need to get through. I didn't read any of that. <laughs> ah, he's saying we can't see the princess. Well, that's a shame. I guess we'll go home. Or maybe... Where is it? <laughs> 
Maybe we'll just climb up here. Is it up there? It's somewhere. I don't think you have to go as far back as the market. I'm forgetting how to play this now, which is weird, because I have completed it twice, so... Why are you singing? Hey, your clothes, they're... different. <laughs> That's one way to describe them, yes. Never call me a fairy boy again. Ah, there's some vines there. You know what I like to do with vines? Watch them. Preferably compilations on YouTube. But also, if we climb up here, we can make our way inside. Forget what that guy says. Oh. Well, there's a guy standing guard there. But if we pop down here... That's it. And just walk on through. Okay, we're in. Here's where it becomes a bit like Metal Gear Solid. This is a stealth mission now. We cannot be seen, so we need to go up this little bit here. Whoa, careful though. Along the path? We should be fine on the path, right? No one's going to see us on the main path. And then if we climb up these stones here, which look so wonderfully climbable, Aha, we're in. We get money for swimming. We're a bit like Michael Phelps, but just not quite as good. Are we stuck? Oh no, I see, we can get out of the corner. Nintendo have thought of this, it's alright. Oh wow, well, the uh, girl said her dad had gone to deliver milk, and there's a man sleeping here. Could this possibly be him? Let's hit him with a stick. Dude, wake up! I don't think we can wake him up, so uh... There's some boxes here though. I think we might... Well, he's in the way of us using them. What can we do to wake him up? I don't think he's a ho hobo, he's a, like a milk delivery person. The milkman is sleeping. How can we wake him though? I'm... Short of like talking to him.
and try and push him off the edge with the box. It didn't work. Dude, wake up. It's like night time. It's not even the daytime anymore. Maybe he wakes up at night. Maybe he's nocturnal. Ah. So we don't even have what we need to wake him up. We need to go and grab something. Which is kind of annoying because I made it all the way here and now it's like, oh, you can't do what you need to do, so. Just gonna let these guards catch me. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, we've seen him. He's fallen asleep. We know him. Here you go, she's been incubating an egg. So now if we go over there and wake him up, we've got something to wake him up with. An egg to the face. Or a fried egg, depending on quite our strategy of using it. Cool, look at him climb. He's a power climber. Right, we're not going to bother with going down inside this time, I don't think. That was too much of a safe strategy. We're just going to jump off the top here and hope no one sees. And we're also going to shout for some reason. Link just being like, it's like, shush, Link, you're trying to sneak. So her dad has literally been sleeping for, like, an entire day because it was morning when we got to him the first time. And now it's been night time and the sun is coming back up. A chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. G great. Wonderful. Maybe, then... We could use a chicken to wake her dad up. That's an idea. Let's equip the chicken. Yo, old dude. I've got a chicken for you. Because that's the only thing that can wake a human being up, is a cockerel. I don't know, man. The man's called Link. So hold on, he was going to deliver some milk, and then he just sat down and fell asleep. He didn't even deliver the milk. And he left his daughter behind at the castle gates. Yeah, you best be worried, mate. CPS are coming for you. Surely the guards will be like, Yo, Mr. Hobo, what are you doing here? Anyway, now we can drag these milk crates around. Hooray! Everything's a bit of a puzzle-solving exercise in Zelda. But yeah, I feel like this might be a good game for a complete series because obviously the more health we get and the more weapons we get, once we get like the Master Sword and the Biggeron Sword, it is a really good game anyway. Um, I have completed it before so I'll sort of end up remembering how to beat some of the bosses hopefully. But yeah, if you'd like to see more of this in coming streams then do let me know because, or alternatively if you absolutely hate it then again let me know. But I think I was going to leave AJ to some of the racing games for now. Mainly because he's good at them. Oh look, now you can jump across here. 
Nice. Sneak into the castle. GTA 5 does need a stream at some point. I feel like that would be more of a Saturday stream because obviously it's not exactly retro as a game. Uh, man's got to be sneaky here. Okay, it's good. I don't know quite how sneaky we need to be because they don't have a set like eyeliner or anything. It's literally just like, don't stand right in front of them otherwise they will see you. They've also got very inefficient walking patterns. So like, obviously they've got to leave a gap at some point, but if you were a guard, like, you wouldn't be doing your job properly if you were doing it like that. So we're going to ignore all the, rupee, all the rupees on the floor because we don't actually need any rupees at the moment. And if we make it across the top of here, he won't see us. Perfect. So these guys are going to take a little bit of timing, but it should be fine. Go, go, go. Nice. Okay front on camera. There's a guard there, but we might make it. Ah! Oh, at the last second we were stopped. And you know what that means. You have to do the whole section again. Thanks, Zelda. It nearly didn't even let us on the platform. That would have been even worse. Yeah, there's only so much you can do with GTA 5, but we will uh, we will give that a bit of a stream at some point. It is one of my favourite games, so definitely worth checking out. And I don't think AJ's played much of it at all, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, if Link had like a commanding officer, he'd be pretty pissed about now. I'm going to try a bit of an unconventional strategy here. Oh, but it's paid off. I just love that Link shouts. Like, whenever he goes up steps, he's like, Ha! Here! And it's like, you're being stealthy. Shut your mouth, Link. Come on. Also, the walking noises have, like, random sort of metallic clinking. So, surely they'd hear that as well? You would have thought? Okay, we've got to be a little bit slow with this section this time. We're just going to follow them round. We're literally going to be the third guard on patrol here. Whenever they move, we move. Come on, guard number two. Go, go, go. That's it. Oh boy, we're in. Going to sneak in Zelda's window. Oh, hey, there she is. What's up? There's a boy in my garden. Forsooth. <laughs> How did you get past the guards? Mate, you need to employ better guards. That's all I'm saying. Like, I didn't struggle with that. You think Ganondorf's going to struggle with that? Yeah, mate, I've got a fairy. I'm from the forest. She's, she's just smart as anything, isn't she? Spiritual stone of the forest. Yep, I've got that as well, mate. Completed it, mate. Wonder what happened if I said, I'm not going to say no. But she's like, have you got it? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> have I not got to show it to her? Link can just be like, yeah, mate, yeah, I've got it. <laughs> Solid Link. It, something about that just sounds a bit... Let's wait until he's adult Link for him to be Solid Link, eh? Yep, there's a prophecy someone will come from the forest. 
guess where we've come? It's the it's the forest. Yeah, okay. You you figured it out. We're we're a prophecy boy. We got it. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Yeah, we gathered. There's some sort of legend based on you. Yeah, we get it. And obviously there's a timeline thing with all of the Zelda games. So she's like, wow, it sounds familiar because Link's always getting Zelda out of situations. Why is everyone telling Link their secrets? And it goes a little something like this. More legendary stuff. Hold on, we, we already know about this. We got, yeah, the three goddesses, Din and all that, yeah. They've hidden the Triforce somewhere in Hyrule. Guess who's gonna have to find it? It's not Princess Zelda. So basically anyone who has the Triforce can be granted their wish. And if someone nice makes a wish, it's good. If someone nasty makes a wish, it's bad. Who would have guessed? So we need to get the Triforce before anyone naughty. And the Triforce is in the Temple of Time. Wonderful. And we're back in the garden. So yeah, the door of time needs the forest stone, the fire stone, and the water stone or something. So we've got to go to water stones and get a water stone, fire stones and get a fire stone, that sort of thing. Yeah, if the person's a neutral person, it's like, sorry, nothing happened. <laughs> Did you understand the story I just told you? Yes, don't tell it to me again. Don't you dare tell it me again. Yeah, there's no kidney stone, not yet. Will you look through the window? Go on then, we'll have, a, we'll have a look through the window. What could possibly go wrong with glancing through a royal window? Oh, the Queen's getting changed. Look away. Oh wait, it's Ganondorf. He's pretty evil, actually. So he's pretending to swear allegiance to Zelda's father, who is the king. But he doesn't mean it, and he's looked straight at us. We're planning some sort of uprising in the garden with some flowers. It's like Cluedo. Yeah, he's already in the castle, mate. It's, it's all gone wrong. And Ganondorf wants the Triforce too. And he's not a neutral person, he is a bad person. He's a bad man. I love how like finger divides are just lines. So now we're the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Not if we can help it. So I've got to set off and find the other two spiritual stones and then we're going to grab the Triforce and defeat Ganondorf. Right, cool. That's a plan. That is just a plan. We've also got to take a letter. It's the letter Z. It literally is. It's her autograph. Uh, and we can show it to people and be like, look, Zelda sent me. 
Yeah, we are. We're the Hyrule Protection Agency. Sort of like the Self-Preservation Society, but without hanging on a cliff edge, you know. Oh, hey, what's up? I was just chilling with the princess, I guess. Why are you here? I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Y you s managed to sneak into the castle without me catching you, so I'm pretty bad at my job, but hey. Guess it's good that you're a courageous boy. Ah, she's going to teach us a melody. Go on in, give us a melody. Zelda's tune. Oh, here we go. She's about to do a melody. Just happens to be the song that's playing right now. Yeah, Zelda's theme song, when she comes out in like WWE, it's a da -na -na, da -na -na. big old Zelda things flashing up on the Megatron. Titan Tron, whatever you call it. Megatron is a Transformers thing, I think. Oh yeah, we can play that ocarina. Right, so we made our way through the castle. Now we just need to find some spiritual stones. Are you feeling spiritual? I'm feeling spiritual. And stoned? No. <laughs> you brave lad. Ah yes, Mount Doom. Oh, Death Mountain. Mount Doom somewhere else, I suppose. So the Gorons hold the spiritual stone of fire. Guess we better go and get that then, eh? At the foot of Death Mountain you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. On the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some b-ball outside of- Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I could do the whole rap, but I just don't think anyone would appreciate it. Only family members are allowed to learn this song, and some random kid from the forest. It's Death Mountain, Black and Mild, I was wrong. <laughs> what? What is Mount Doom from? Someone tell me. <laughs> why would you, why would you call it Death Mountain? No one would go there if you called it Death Mountain. Is Mount Doom from Lord of the Rings? Is that it? I don't know. I'll just stop being a terrible geek and just climb the stairs. A Death Valley is a real place, I think. Oh yeah, it's Kakariko Village. Nice relaxing theme in Kakariko Village. But the best thing about it... Is that you can pick up chickens, yeah! Oh yeah, I've got this chicken. Hey, guess what mate, I've got a chicken! It's just shedding feathers everywhere. But, chickens act like parachutes. Amazing. Yeet! <laughs> Just yeeted a chicken now. <laughs> I 
Right, the graveyard's that way. We don't want to go to the graveyard. I was hoping to go to Death Mountain, which is apparently this way? This way, I think. Why would a mountain be in a valley? <laughs> That's a good point. Why would a mountain be in a valley? Oh, it's locked. Yeah, let me in. The road is closed. Can't you read the sign? Mate, here's what I think of your sign. Read what sign now, mate? Eh? Read what sign that is destroyed. Do you want me to pick up a chicken? Just cutting his kneecaps off. Ah, oh, well, I mean, if the road's closed, I guess... I guess we can't go up there. We can climb up here, though. I feel like we're going to fall quite a long way in a moment, but we'll see how it goes. There's literally nothing up here except for butterflies. That's that's great. One great thing you can do with ladders in the Zelda series is literally just fall off them and then reattach yourself so you don't get any fall damage. Anyway, we've made it to Kakariko Village. Um, I think I will do a few more streams on Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. See how it goes and uh, try and get closer to completion. Obviously there's, I think there's three temples when you're a kid, seven temples when you're an adult. So if we try and do the next two on the next stream, maybe get to the adult links phase. I think that'd be good. Made some good progress for two hours in. And I saved the game. Because like any other old game, it doesn't auto save and we would literally go back to fighting Goma if I didn't do that. But yeah, there's a few things we can do next time in terms of gathering up the spiritual stones. It's it's a good game. It's a, maybe a little bit of a slow start, but once you get through all the temples and all that, it's very good. So yeah, thank you for joining me for this first episode of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in Nay's Retro Lounge and my first stream of 2019. Hopefully you'll join me next time and uh, obviously follow us on Twitch and YouTube if you don't already. Um, obviously new video on Friday on YouTube and potentially some streams coming up. Obviously AJ's got his hot race car nights on Monday. I stream on Wednesdays. That's how things work around here. So yeah, thank you for joining me. It's been fun. Uh, it's always fun to play Legend of Zelda games and I will see you next time in the Elbar Arcade.